The In Auto course is coming to CBT Nuggets really soon. I'm so excited about it. I hope you are too. Let's talk about it. Automating Cisco Enterprise Solutions, the In Auto 300-435. I loved taking this exam and I love recording for it even more. But if this is your first time visiting my channel and you'd like to grow your IT skills and your IT career, I'd love to encourage you to click that subscribe button. I've got new content rolling out all the time and I'm all about helping you get to the next level in your career. All right, the In Auto course, the In Auto exam. Man, wow, this, this exam was really unlike any other exam that I've taken before because it really challenges you to know what you're doing. You have to have done these things physically yourself to really understand what the concepts are and how to take this exam. So let's break down the exam blueprint. Let me demo what's coming your way. We've broken down the in auto exam a couple times on this channel, so I'm not gonna dig too deep into it. If you want to check out my channel for more details on what is really on the in auto exam, I definitely encourage you to check out some of the videos. I'll put links to them in the description. Now I can tell you up front, I broke these down into domains. Ben Finkel is tackling this domain for us, domain one. Uh, if you've watched the DevNet Associate content, you're pretty familiar with Ben Finkel's stuff at this point, and you know he's pretty good at what he's doing. He's going to help us get through the network programmability foundations, but this case, I like to think that they dig a little bit deeper than traditional network programmability. When you see things like the challenges of synchronous versus asynchronous calls, uh, you're in for a treat because he does some really cool stuff. He actually shows us how to make asynchronous HTTP calls using Python in this content. I also will go ahead and say that Ben's Git content as part of the DevNet Associate is some of the best content I've ever seen, and it was critical to my success when taking these exams. But from here on out, the remaining 90% of the exam, uh, this is all content that I shot and recorded. Now, the Automate APIs and Protocols goes hand in hand with network device programmability. And in this case, we really focus on using the iOS XE devices in the DevNet Sandbox to perform some pretty cool automation stuff. We covered NetConf as its own skill, RESTConf as its own skill, and then I created another skill called Other Automation Techniques with iOS XE, where we cover things like NetMiko, Ansible, and one of my favorite things that I've probably ever recorded is model-driven telemetry. I went in pretty hard on model-driven telemetry because I really believe that streaming analytics is a critical and awesome part to what we do as network automators. I have a video here on YouTube that kind of covers it in one of the cooler tools I've ever covered, which is Power BI. So if you want to check out how to stream network device data straight into a Power BI dashboard, that's the solution that I know and love, and I'd encourage you to check out that video. But here's how model-driven telemetry really looks in the real world. As part of the CBT Nuggets content that we'll cover is we'll create a script that looks exactly like this that will connect into the DevNet Sandbox and subscribe to a stream of data about memory statistics on this device. And from there, I can parse out that data and just print out the statistics that I care about. And this will go from a pull model where I've connected to the device and requested data to now this device is pushing data to me every five seconds. Check it out. If I run the script, this is what it looks like. See, my device is connecting in and requesting a subscription to the data. There it goes, right there. There's the subscription. And now every five seconds, it's going to print out to the terminal. Boom, there it is. There's an update of what's happening on this device. And I can stream this data in real time into a dashboarding tool like Power BI that will update in real time. And that way I can detect any anomalies or outliers or problems happening in my environment. It's a really cool and handy way to be in touch with what's going on in your environment. And other tools like DNA Center leverage this technology with Catalyst 9K devices to detect anomalies in your environment too. So you'll learn how to do these types of things in our in-auto course. Same thing goes with DNA Center, SD-WAN, and Meraki. We dig deep into these things and we broke up these items across multiple skills. So the DNA Center skill We'll be introducing what SD access really is and how DNA Center implements it, as well as how to get started automating the DNA Center. Then we move on to the dig deeper section where we dig into the command runner API, where we perform network discoveries. We leverage the assurance API for event outbound webhooks. 
SD-WAN, we modify fabric configuration with templates. We retrieve and display data, as well as interact with the administrative API when we dig deeper into SD-WAN. And then probably my favorite content I've ever recorded is the Cisco Meraki content, where we'll implement all of these, the location scanning API, the MVSense API, the external captive portal API, that's right, we're going to cover some web development items. We are going to clone some of the publicly available resources that come to us from the developer code exchange, thanks to Cisco for providing that, and we'll interpret what's happening with JavaScript and HTML when we develop the Captive Portal API. We implement webhooks by deploying a Python Azure function app to absorb those webhooks, and we perform CRUD operations against the Meraki dashboard API. To say I'm really happy with how this course turned out would be an understatement. I loved taking this exam. It was a great exam. It was a fair exam. It was a thorough exam. And it definitely pushes your ability. It means you need to know how to do this stuff. You need to have done it. You need to have explored the documentation and experimented with things on your own. So I hope you'll watch the course. I hope you'll enjoy the course. And I hope it'll inspire you to dig into these public resources like the DevNet Sandbox, the DCloud, the Reservable Instances, and experiment with things on your own too. So get ready, the In Auto course is coming to CBT Nuggets very soon. Hang in there, I'll let you know when it's out, follow me on Twitter, that way you can be alerted when it comes out because I'm going to share it in that medium there. So that's the In Auto course coming to CBT Nuggets. Thanks for stopping by y'all, I'll see you in the next one.